Today we have a little bit of an interesting video. This is the newer NW800. This is like one of the cheapest XLR microphones out on the market on Amazon. You can typically find it between $15 and $30, depending on what accessories it comes with. You can get it in kits where it has an arm, or you can get it just by itself. But this microphone is not the same, at least right now it's not the same as it used to be. And that's what's interesting. Let's talk about the NW800 and why every old review of this microphone is now virtually useless. But the good news is there are resources out there. So first off, I want to get into the sort of hook of this video, which is the NW800 as it's being sold right now on Amazon is not the NW800 that was reviewed by so many tech channels looking at cheap microphones over the past several years. This microphone is actually this one. So I'm actually gonna point you back to a Tom Buck video. Tom Buck does some fantastic audio videos, but he actually compared both of these microphones and probably did a better job than I would even come close to doing, so there's no point recreating that. Uh, but the NW700, which has been for a long time regarded as superior to the NW800 in reviews, forums, that sort of thing, um, they're actually the same microphone now. So I'm not really sure why this is. But in Tom Buck's video, he tore these microphones down and they are very clearly different microphones. But the NW800 looks like this. The NW800 has nothing on it, whereas the NW700 has these two capacitors. It's definitely not the same microphone, just in a different housing. I tore these down and I bought both of these like two weeks ago. They are identical inside and they are the internals of the NW700 from Tom Buck's video. Now, I don't exactly know why the change was made. I don't know if the company recognized the NW800 was a subpar microphone, especially compared to the NW700. So they just thought, you know what? Let's just use all the same internal components. They already use the same housing with the exception of the sort of top part of the housing. Everything else in the housing is identical. Why not just use the same exact circuitry too? Uh, or maybe it was a case where uh, they were trying to cut their own costs and they didn't actually care about the audio quality. Uh, maybe they ran out of the original NW800 parts, so they just started putting in NW700 componentry. I don't know why the change was made, but if you view the NW700 as superior to the 800, it's a good change. So the following actually applies to both of these mics. They both come with a uh, shock mount here, which actually is a decent little shock mount. It does the job no problem at all. They both come with a windscreen, which would help quite a bit with plosives, um, but it's also kind of ugly. Like part of the reason that these mics are somewhat appealing to somebody that is picking them up, not only do they give you better audio than just like a built-in microphone on a webcam or a laptop, but they actually look kind of cool, but when you put that on it, it doesn't look quite as cool anymore. Additionally, they do come with an XLR to uh, 3.5 millimeter input jack. Um, this is good in that it allows you to bypass the need for an XLR interface that allows you to bring an XLR signal into your PC. It's not so great in that the USB interface that would do that work would do a better job probably than this cable would, but it does cut costs. And for a microphone that costs anywhere from 15 to $30, a, I totally understand it. B, it does actually work just fine. So um, I don't actually have any major problem with that. So you do get a cable that allows you to not have to have an interface that allows you to bring in XLR signals into a PC. You can just run it straight into your motherboard's mic input. And by the way, the mics actually come with the exact same box as well. So like literally the only difference in the mic at this point is the top of the housing. That is quite literally the only difference between these two microphones. The good news with the change, not only is the audio quality better now with the NW800 in that it matches up with the NW700, which was already considered to be superior to the 800, but the good news is the only differentiating factor now is that top of the housing, which allows you to still look at reviews for the NW800. Just be aware, when you look for an audio sample for the NW800, you should now be looking for an audio sample 
from the NW700. Now you've been listening to the NW800 this entire time and I've added some EQ to it. I've probably cleaned it up in post a little bit, the signal that is. So it does probably sound a little bit better in this video than it would just raw out of the microphone. But of course, these are all things that you can do in software as well to make this microphone sound as good as it possibly can. But with that, like I said, I will link things down below so you can actually check these mics out, see what their current pricing and availability is. If you don't care about the looks of the microphone and pricing is the only thing that matters to you, pick whichever one is cheaper, the NW700 or NW800. Both of them are very budget friendly typically though, uh, and they actually do a decent job if you're willing to play around with EQ and clean up the audio just a little bit. But with that, if you wanna see more cheap peripherals that allow you to get into streaming, content creation, gaming, whatever the case is, let me know in those comments down below. Otherwise, like, share, subscribe to this video, subscribe to this video, subscribe to this channel, and I will see all of you in the next video. Nailed it.